All right. So now let's pivot over to another concept that Jonah Berger highlights here, and that's triggers. He starts it out with a phrase, top of mind means tip of tongue, meaning if you're in someone's head, then you're more likely to be talked about. It's that straightforward. So what you want to do is essentially link your product or service to something that someone else sees or talks about all the time. So it's not rocket science here, but the trigger will remind you of that brand and you'll actually be talking about it. So how do we do that? He gives us three specific ways. The first is frequency. How can we make, how can we link our brand to something that people see all the time? Is there some kind of a link that we can, that we can have uh, to something that a behavior or something that they see or talk about all the time? The next is the strength of this link. You can't have some kind of random arbitrary link to your brand. The more tightly it is connected to your brand, the more somebody is going to talk about it. And so you want that trigger to be directly to, to remind somebody of um, your brand. I actually really like the example that Jonah gives in the book about the strength of the link. I think he talks about Kit Kats and coffee and how they linked those two. So obviously, naturally, they're separate. They wanted to tie that into like when you take a break, then you have a Kit Kat. Well, what else do you do when you take a break? You drink coffee. And so they created a series of videos that basically created that link where people were, I want to take a coffee break. Well, let's also take a Kit Kat break. And so they were able to kind of tie those two things together, which I think is a really good example that the link that you have for your company doesn't necessarily have to be have to exist already. You can actually create it um, from scratch as long as they are related. So that's perfect. The strength of that link has to be really strong. So when you think of break, you now think of a Kit Kat with your coffee. The other thing that he talks about is the distance. The distance between when the trigger hits and how close your customer is to a behavior where they can actually act on that. And so the shorter that distance is, the more likely uh, th this trigger is to get them to take action that benefits your brand. Okay, I gotta jump in here one more time because I actually have a story. This just happened to me the other day. Our grocery store here is trying to encourage everybody to bring their own grocery bags. And I always forget. So again, I went to the grocery store, I get out of the car and I realize, shoot, I forgot my grocery bags. And then I look up and I see a sign that says, don't forget to bring your grocery bags. And immediately I thought like, why aren't you reminding me this while I'm home? And that's where my grocery bags are. And I think that's the perfect example here because there's this distance where they're reminding me at the grocery store when really I left them at home. There's this gap that kind of needs to be closed there. So make sure that your link is near where you want that desired behavior to take place. So people actually do the action you're wanting them to do. <laughs> I I love that example, Tori, because they could, they could, they, they could give you refrigerator magnets or something like that, that you're now putting on your refrigerator before you leave the house. Or there's a grocery, like on our refrigerator, we have a magnet that's a grocery list that anyone can in the family can go and write on. What if at the very top of that, it was, Hey, remember, remember your cloth grocery bags. And then boom, you, 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 you've got a trigger closer to the behavior. That's a perfect, perfect example.